Hey, my name is Liz and I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And I have a haul from the thrift store today. I um, went to my favorite thrift store on Wednesday, which is the day that they change their sale colors. So every color but the most recent one is 50% off and the oldest one is 75% off. So it's definitely the best day to get all the deals. Um, I found some really great stuff. I spent $311. A few of those things are not in the haul because they were Christmas gifts. Um, every year I do a thrift basket for my um, family. And so I'm gonna do a video uh, in December with that stuff. So you won't see that today, but um, you'll see everything that I picked up to resell. And two of the items have actually already sold and I have to ship them out today. Uh, so those were really quick sales because I only listed them yesterday. And uh, yeah, so here's the stuff. So this is a great piece to start with. This is the brand Universal Standard with a collab with Erdem. And I didn't know what Erdem was, but I knew Universal Standard. Um, this is a jumpsuit. It's a coverall jumpsuit. Um, and if you've never picked up Universal Standard before, they have weird sizing. So this is a medium, but according to their size chart, the medium is an 1820. So definitely make sure you don't list it as a normal medium because um, it's not going to fit a medium. I, I'm like a 14, 16, and you know, obviously this is not a medium. It would be a little loose on me. So um, this I have listed for $125. It's really nice condition. Um, and I paid $650 for this. So I was pumped about that. Um, I think that one's going to do really well. And Erdem is apparently also an expensive denim brand. I've never come across that before, but um, I'll be on the lookout for it now. And this is a Vineyard Vines kid shirt, and it's like this cool color block style. It reminded me of like the 80s or 90s. Like I think my dad had a Ralph Lauren shirt that looked just like this. I'm sure you know Vineyard Vines. But um, I only paid $3 for this. So that was a great pickup. I'll probably, I don't think I have this one listed yet, but I'll probably put it around $20. And then this is one of the pieces that sold. So this is another universal standard piece. And this one's just their normal label. This one's a large, which was a 22-24. And it's... It's a black maxi dress. It has buttons and then it has like a slit with buttons on the side. And I had this one listed for $80 and I have um, Posher VA sending out 25% offers on everything 10 minutes after people um, like it. So this was having offers sent out for $60 with discounted shipping. And then overnight, someone sent me a $55 offer. So it ended up being like a dollar difference or something in that offer versus the offers I was sending out. So I accepted that. Um, I probably could have listed it for a little more, especially since it sold so quick. But I'm really happy with a fast flip. I paid $10 for that. So, um, you know, turning $10 into 40 in a few hours is fine with me. And these are from Aritzia. This is one of their brands, Babaton. And they are a pair of linen blend pants. And they were apparently very popular this summer. There was a trend um, called Coastal Grandma. And these seem to have been very popular. They're kind of like a joggery trouser. Um, I have these listed for 40 currently. They're kind of out of season now but hopefully they still will do well, um, maybe in the spring or someone might still be looking for them. And then this is a brand I don't pick up very much. It's Club Monaco, but these were new tags and I liked the style of them. They retailed for $159 and they had the style name on the tag. So I knew it would be easy to find a picture of them. And they're like these really nice khaki, straight leg, modern, high-waisted trouser. Um, and 
it looks like they were on the website within like the last year because they were still they actually might have still been available in a couple sizes so i have these listed for 60 and i paid five um i definitely don't pick up all club monaco i see it pretty often but um i just like these and new tags is always a great selling point i picked up a couple bathing suits which it's November when I'm filming this, so they're not exactly in season, but there were some new tags ones. So this is a brand called Rhythm, and it's sold at Nordstrom, which I saw the Nordstrom sticker on the back, which was part of what made me even look it up. Um, it's a one piece. It has an open back. Um, it looks like this same style came in a bikini, and that's more popular than the one piece. But um, still good. I only paid four or five dollars for this, um, and I have it listed for I think forty. I'm not positive, but um, the one good thing about bathing suits in the off season is people can't walk into a store and pick it up. So if they're going on vacation somewhere, or you know live in Florida or something, like they still might need a bathing suit. So. Um, they turn to online to buy them. And this is a really cute kind of retro vibe midi dress. And this was not a brand that I knew. It's Mignon Du. And sometimes when I just see a, a tag that looks nice or is a brand that I've never heard of, I grab it to look it up. Um, and this one had a lot of listings on Poshmark showing as being Anthro, but it doesn't have the Anthro RN number. And it looks like Beholden, which is Anthro's like formal wear line, had a few dresses by this brand, but I haven't been able to find this exact one yet. Um, so I'm probably just gonna have to guess what I wanna list it for. I might mention Anthro, although I don't think this was sold there, but everyone else seems to be doing it. So I'm not sure on that one yet. Um, maybe I'll list it around like 40, 50 but I think I paid $5 for that one. And then this is the other piece that already sold. And these are Lily Pulitzer. And they are a pair of pajama pants. I only paid $3 for these. And Lily is my favorite brand personally. This is what the tag will look like on like loungewear and activewear and that kind of stuff. Um, these I had listed for $30. They only retail for like, 58 I believe so I listed them for 30 and someone accepted my um Posh or VA offer for uh 22 and I paid three dollars so um these sold within like three hours I believe um so I was pumped about that I don't think I've sold Lily pajamas before but I've sold a lot of Lily this is another bathing suit and this is a brand called Somersault, which I believe is an online brand. Um, I had actually first heard of it from one of like the fashion people I follow on YouTube. And it's known for being size inclusive because um, she's a plus size vlogger and it has like the built in cups. This one's only a size 10, but um, I still have it listed for, I believe, $60, which was awesome. And it's actually still on their website, so super current. Um, and I, I've never sold that brand or found it before, so um, no idea how it'll do, but since it's so current, that's um, a great thing to have happen. <laughs> um, I didn't even realize that when I looked it up originally, and uh, I think I paid five bucks for that one. And this is definitely a brand you should be on the lookout for. This is Kindred Bravely, Brave, yeah, Bravely, and it's, I think they only have, sorry if you hear like my neighbor's landscaping, um, I think they do like maternity and nursing stuff, and that's what this is, it's a nursing and pumping bra, and I've sold one of these before that I found at the bins, and it sold super quick, um, and this one's new with tags, so I figured it would do well too. Um, and this one I paid $10 for, which is definitely paying up, but, um, I was kind of just hoping for another quick flip. Uh, and I think 
that will happen. It has a couple likes already. And this is Jay McLaughlin. These are a pair of pants. They're really cute blue. I know they're like printed. They're printed and skinny and probably a mid-rise. So I don't know how popular they'll be, but I usually do quite well with this brand. Um, I have not listed these yet because I wasn't able to find a stock photo for them yet. But um, I usually sell her stuff in like the $30 to $50 range. So I'll probably list these for like around $40 and see how they do. Um, they were a size 6, which I've definitely had some luck with some like 10, 12 sizes from her. But um, I don't really size discriminate. I'll pick up whatever size if I like the brand. I found a couple sports bras. This one's Lulu. Luckily, someone saved the size of it, even though they cut the rest of the tag out. And this actually is a really popular style. Um, I kind of thought it might be newer because this kind of like long line loungewear type of sports bra has been really popular, but I think it was from 2015 or 16. And um, I have this listed for, I think $40 and it only retailed for 58. And there was very few listed and a lot of them sold. So that was um, a great find. And this is an Athleta bra. They were right next to each other. So maybe they came from the same person. Um, I'm sure you know Athleta. And this is the little symbol if you ever see that out. I pick up a lot of Athleta and I love picking up sports bras. Uh, this one was only $3 and so was the Lulu one too. Uh, I don't know if I listed the Athleta one yet, but um, I usually list them around 30. This is another Lily piece. This one is a shift dress in a size zero. This is not the newest tag. The newest one is hot pink, um, but this one's still current enough. This dress I believe was from 2016 and it's the Mila shift in Tic Tac tile. And um, this shift, like the style of the Mila is a very popular one. Uh, so I actually have this listed for 60, which I was kind of surprised by because normally um, size zero doesn't do nearly as well in Lily, uh, but that seemed to be pretty popular. And this is not Missoni. That's what I thought when I saw it in the store. It actually got wheeled out on a new rack and I like ran over to it. This is Bowden. And when I found the stock pictures, I realized it's supposed to have a little belt, but I think that's okay anyway. Um, super fun, colorful. I have this listed for, I believe, 40. Um, there was quite a few of these and most of the other ones had the belt, which kind of stinks. But um, it was just like a ribbon. So really, if someone really wanted it that bad, they could tie the ribbon around themselves, I suppose. Um, this one was the only 75% off piece. And I actually saw it when I was there the week before um, and didn't pick it up because I didn't want to pay 15 for it because they had it listed for 30. And it's free people. It's pretty current. It's called the, like on your team sweater dress. It has like little balloon sleeves, really cute. Um, but I only ended up paying seven fifty for it. It has a couple little snags, but um, overall pretty good shape. And this one seemed to be fairly popular. So not sorry, my dog is like going through the bag. Um, so it wasn't like a great find, and I didn't. I'm glad I didn't buy it for the. Um, $15 last week, but for seven, I'll pick up a cute free people piece. Here's my dog. He's a beagle. Uh, let's see. This is another Vineyard Vines piece. This one is their classic Shep shirt. It has like the flag on the back and front. This one's an extra small and I don't pick these up. They used to do really well, but they don't do so great anymore. Um, but this one was only $4 and I figured like someone might really like this for like being at the beach on like 4th of July or Memorial Day or something. So for $4, I grabbed it. I don't have that one listed yet, but probably in like the $30 range. 
and then I found two Harley t-shirts which used to do fantastic I don't know if they're quite as popular anymore but I thought these two had really cool designs so this one is Cape Cod and it has like a lobster riding a motorcycle which I thought was really fun it has a nice front graphic too this one was five and then this one was six and this one has is from Idaho I just thought they were like really fun graphics this one actually has a couple likes already on Poshmark um, I think I listed both of them for 25 so they're not a big flip or anything but I find very few cool t-shirts so I just thought they were kind of fun and I enjoyed the Harley phase when it was popular in like 2020 um, and I'm sure there's still either people who ride Harleys and like to collect them or girls who like and think they're fun. So this is another fun t-shirt and this one is a brand you should definitely keep an eye out for. This is The Mountain and they're known for, I actually have, I'll grab it for you in a second, but they're known for more of like a big face on the t-shirt this one's that hump day camel from that commercial a few years ago but this one also has a couple likes already and I have that listed for 25 or 30 um, they're more known for t-shirts like this and I was actually wearing this earlier today um, and this one I bought on whatnot from uh, Harry Tornado but this is kind of more what they're typically known for with like the big faces of dogs or like where it's just one giant face but I thought this one was really funny it's really comfortable I've just been wearing it casually but um I definitely try and pick that brand up when I find it and this is PE Nation which was the first time I've ever found that um this is the tag I can't find a stock photo of this one, but their sports bras seem to go in like the $25, $30 range. So I have it listed somewhere around that. Um, I only paid $2.50 for this, which was awesome. And I can check it off my bolo list. Then we have a Talbots piece. And I definitely don't pick up all Talbots. But um, I really do like their blazers, and especially when they're plus size, this is a size 24. And this is like a wool blend beige blazer. Um, in my haul last week, I picked up a blue one that was pretty much the same style as this in a size 22. And that one sold for $56 the next day. Uh, so I'll probably list this one around 60. 60 70 dollars and um i paid five so i come across a lot of talbots i definitely do not pick it all up but uh i do like their blazers or if i can find stuff that's new with tags that does well too this is not something i usually grab but it's in such good condition um and it was 12 dollars. it's a weekender bag from vera bradley and it has it's not matching but it has like a little wallet wristlet on it too um i have not listed this one yet but um just based on condition i'm probably gonna list it pretty close to retail value because it, it honestly looks like it's never been used um and oh my god whatever construction is going on behind me is so loud i'm sorry um but i think that one is a really like fun print and whatnot um We'll see how that does. I don't know if I've, I think I've sold like a little Vera purse that I found at the bins or something, but I don't think I've sold a duffel yet. And this is a pair of Spanx and they are new with tags and a size 2X and they are jeans. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. They must be like doing construction or taking down a tree or something. They have a little something on the pocket that hopefully just wipes right off. But I paid $12.99 for these. Just thinking the size is great. They're new with tags. I've sold Spanx jeans a couple times. And I usually get like 40 bucks for them. And I don't think any of them have been new with tags before. So I'm um, excited to see how those do. And this is a brand that I come across quite a lot. And I pick up some things. I usually try to pick up 
they're like bigger sizes but this is soft surroundings it's a more mature brand these are a size small but i only paid four bucks for these let's see make it look a little better it came with like a really cute belt too they're like a high rise a little bit longer of an inseam just thought those were really fun and for four bucks um hoping to get like in the 30 dollar range for those and this is definitely a bolo brand although this style is not fantastic but this is mother sometimes the tags are super hard to read but they always have an m on the butt pockets and these are this the cruiser in skylark and they'll tell you the style here and they are like a mid-rise flare but in like this really weird denim it's like it honestly feels like paper like it's almost like a chambray shirt i don't know how to describe it but these are um an older style i have them listed for 40 or 50 um but these were 750 and if you find like a much better style of these they do fantastic but um not the best style of those but that's okay um this is rebecca taylor which retails for a lot and doesn't resell fantastic this is a pretty current piece though it's like got little puff sleeves just like a basic blouse it was a size large which in my opinion i think it might run a little tight but i paid five dollars for it and I figured I'd look it up, see if this piece does okay. And if not, I'd send it to ThreadUp um, and they would give me much more than $5 for it. So that would be fine with me if I have to end up doing that. Um, these are another pair of Lulu. These are also an older style. I believe they were from like 2014, 2015. They're kind of strange. But they what they didn't have that many listed on Poshmark, so um, they seemed okay, actually, surprisingly, for, like, this kind of insane print, which I sold a tank top in these when I first started reselling. Um, I can't remember what I have these listed for, but I paid $5 for them, which Lulu is usually marked up way high in my area, so if I can find cheap Lulu, I do tend to pick it up, even if... Um, you know, I only like make 20 bucks or something off of it. That's fine with me. These are anthro. These are pretty current. This tag is pretty current, but also like I could just tell from the model photos and like the, it was still on the website in like a gold color. These are called the Gloria jogger. They are velvet. They have like a cute little thing here and the little tie. Um, these are an extra small petite, which is definitely not the best size ever, but that's okay. Um, I found cute stock pictures. I think those are listed around 30 and I paid four for those, which was nice. And this is a tie, which I find quite a lot of ties don't pick most up. And I probably would not have picked this up if it had not been new with tags. It's Brooks Brothers. Um, I thought the colors were nice, new with tags. I paid $5 for it. I usually can sell a tie that's new and like a nice modern style for in like the $25 range. So I'll either sell it or I'll end up maybe sticking it in one of my family members' Christmas baskets. And then just a couple more. These are Madewell. These are a fairly new style because the older ones do not have this. Um, and these are the classic straight jean. I believe these ones were from 2019, but, um, you know, a very, like, classic, as they say, um, like, current trendy style. I have these listed for 40 I believe, and I paid 8 for them, which is a pretty common price for jeans in my area. And then these are a pair of Peloton leggings, which I have come across... Peloton for Lululemon before, but I don't know if I've had Peloton leggings that are just like Peloton branded. They have the logo on here. They're called the roller rink style. They have like some shimmer to them. 
um, and they're an XL, which is awesome. Um, there was quite a lot of these listed, however, but that's okay. There wasn't a ton of XLs. I don't remember what I priced that one at. And then last is a piece that I'm keeping for the time being, but I'll probably end up selling it. This is Taylor Swift merch, and it's from the Taylor version release of Red. It has losing him was blue, missing him was dark gray, loving him was red on here. And then the back has a big graphic as well. I'll see if I can spin around and show you, but um, I am a Taylor Swift fan. Uh, she just announced her tour. Uh, Midnight's just came out, so it would probably be a good time to sell this, but I want to get at least a couple wears out of it before I do so. Um, it looked like I could probably get like $80 for it, which obviously is fantastic, but um, it's making a pit stop in my closet. It is a little big, it's a 2X, but um, nice and cozy, and I only paid $5 for it. So if you see Taylor Swift merch, definitely grab it, um, especially if you can find some of the older tours, they do even better. Um, yeah, but thank you for watching my haul. Um, most of this is listed on Poshmark. Gonna ship out those couple of pieces that sold already. And um, thanks and come back next time.